life of the old dog yet.
But because of you, I couldn't. So let's even things up. Come on, drop dead! <gasps> Flee, foul phantom! Dark intrusion! Light dispel this black illusion. Veronica would never have said such awful things. Go on, be off with you. <coughs> she didn't regret a thing. I know she didn't. She died with hope in her heart. Hope that we would bring back the light. Um, this is your doing. I sense it. Jasper, show yourself. <laughs> Still, you speak of hope, of light. Even now, with one of your little band beyond saving, your faith is sickening. <laughs> My dear Hendrik, still you cling stubbornly to life. You never did know when to give up. Yet another virtue to despise in you. You come here seeking an audience with my master, I suppose. Well, I'm afraid I shall have to disappoint you. I would ask you to leave politely. But we both know you are too pig-headed to listen, and besides, I would not want your journey to have been in vain.
despair, Hendrik. I have surpassed you at last. Fool. You have surpassed me in wickedness and naught else. Bold words indeed. But you will pay for them. With your life. I shall offer up your broken bodies in tribute to Almighty Mordigan. Among demons, supreme commander of the Spectral Sentinels, how could mere humans defeat me? Again, you surpass me. Again, you outdo me. Again, you... You leave me behind! Hmm. The more you bathe in glory, the more brightly you shone, the more I receded into shadow. Do you know 
what it was that I always wanted. I wanted to be like you. side. It can only be him. Mordigan, at last the time has come to face him. Hey, no fair! Let me go! Can't move! <laughs> Did you think me beaten? Did you think you had bested me? I, Jasper, Supreme Commander of the Spectral Sentinels? Uh, didn't we beat all of these guys? How can they be back? <laughs> oh, Hendrik, your face. Now you'll see who has left who behind. By all means, go to face my master, Luminary. But know that you will do so. Your friends here will be staying with us. <laughs> He shall not go alone. I swore an oath. I am the Luminary's sword, his shield, his unswerving companion. We all are. We're in this together. If we face Mordigan, we face him as one. Aye, if you think I'm missing my chance to get revenge for my Eleanor after all these years, you've another thing coming. Don't worry, darling. I'm with you all the way. We're going to bring smiles and sunshine back to the world if it's the last thing we do. Yes, I promised Veronica I would finish this. And that's a promise I mean to keep. You heard. We're in this together. I'm not leaving anyone to suffer alone. Ever again. I'm supposed to help the Luminary. And that means to the bitter end. Just one more chance, please! It is over, Jasper. Be still. No, I cannot die 
yet. I have yet to surpass you. You, you speak of surpassing me, but in truth it is I who always followed in your wake. who spurred me on, the light that guided me. Without you, I would never have become myself. How is it that you never knew? H Hendrik, I... I... is time. Mordigan must pay. Veiled in darkness, and I reign supreme. <sighs> Yggdrasil is dead. You are not but leaves blown on the wind. Worthless, 
mere words, and yet your faith in them refuses to die. But no longer. I shall carve a despair into the human soul that will last until your kind finally dwindles and dies.
upon the power of the old. I call upon the power of the old. of the luminary. Impressive. But I tired of these games. I am Mordigan, master of all things. Call upon the power of the sword! All must be destroyed!
Is it over? You have done well to defeat Mordegon. Thanks to you, 
Life and light will return to Erdria at last. Uh, who was that? We need to get out of here, now! got rid of more than all. Oh. Yes. But so many lives have been lost. <gasps> Look, that light! Does this mean... Mordigan's passing must have freed the heart of Egdrasil from his clutches. I wish Veronica could have been here to see this. <laughs> <laughs> 